नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भारद्वाज आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग फॉर टुडे 24th of July. Now, if we talk about past 24-hour uh, rainfall observed in IMD observatories, so we can see that uh, extremely heavy rainfall, which is more than 21 centimeter, was been reported over some of the station in uh, Telangana and Vidarbha, where 24 centimeter amount of rainfall was reported. Now, if we talk about heavy to very heavy, 7 to 20 centimeter. Uh, rainfall was uh, reported over coastal and south interior Karnataka, Chhattisgarh, West Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Jharkhand, and Tripura. And the heavy rainfall amount between 7 to 11 cm has been reported in these uh, some of the isolated location over these met subdivisions has been listed here. Let us talk about today's uh, synoptic system and if we are talking about uh, significant system. So uh, the remnant from the uh, tropical cyclone FIFA. Uh, uh, emerged into uh, North Bay of Bengal and due to that uh, low pressure area was formed uh, over North Bay of Bengal in the morning hours 0 uh, 530 uh, IST hours of today and uh, it is persisted over the same location as a low pressure area and the associated cyclonic circulation due to that system extend up to uh, 7.6 kilometer above mean sea level which is also tilted southward with height. The system is likely to move west northwestward and become a well marked low pressure area uh, over northwest Bay of Bengal and adjoining west, west Bengal and Bangladesh coast during next 24 hours and it is also likely to continue to move west northwestward towards west Bengal and adjoining north uh, Odisha coast during subsequent 24 hours. So this is a significant system. If we talk about the other synoptic systems, so there is a trough from Vidarbha to cyclonic circulation associated with the low pressure area over North Bay of Bengal across uh, South Chhattisgarh at 500 km of mean sea level. There is also an upper area cyclonic circulation over Northeast Bangladesh and neighborhood at uh, lower tropospheric level and there is also a western disturbance as a cyclonic circulation over Jammu and Kashmir and adjoining Himachal Pradesh between 3.1 and 5.8 km of mean sea level. Now there are other system upper area cyclonic circulation over Southwest Rajasthan at 3.1, uh, which is also persisted today uh, at 8.30 hours of IST of today. And there is also an upper air cyclonic circulation over East Uttar Pradesh, which is also seen at uh, 1.5 km above mean sea level. And there is also an offshore trough at mean sea level, which runs from Maharashtra to Karnataka coast. So these are the major uh, synoptic systems. Now, if you talk about the monsoon trough line, so the monsoon trough at mean sea level pr uh, pressure now passes through uh, Shri Ganganagar, Sirsa, Merat, Hardoi, Patna, Jamshedpur, Diga and hence south uh, eastward to the center of the low pressure area over North Bay of Bengal. Now today's highlights, uh, the important highlights, the low pressure area was formed over uh, uh, North Bay of Bengal due to that. Uh, there will be uh, extremely heavy rainfall is likely over Odisha on 24 to 25 and Chhattisgarh on 25th uh, and 26th, Madhya Pradesh on 26th and 27th, Konkan and Ghat areas of Madhya Maharashtra, Vidarbha, Ganja, West Bengal on 25th. Now if you talk about uh, the monsoon condition are likely to be in active phase uh, over central and east India um, and along the west coast of India during ad, uh, adjoining Ghat areas during next four to five days. So these are the uh, highlights. Now if we specifically talk about today's multi-hazard warning map, you can see that the red color warning has been issued for Odisha and uh, uh, coastal Karnataka region for heavy to very heavy with isolated extremely heavy rainfall and you can see the adjoining areas of the uh, west coast of India, central India and east India where the orange color warning has been alert has been issued where heavy to very heavy rainfall likely to. And the other location you can see the northeast of India, Uttarak, east uh, Uttar Pradesh uh, and uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, you can see that isolated heavy rainfall with lightning and uh, gusty wind warning has been issued and it's been marked for day one and yellow color. The other parts of India you can see that where thunderstorm lightning activity will be there is been highlighted here in yellow color. Now because of that system uh, mostly and the active phase of the monsoon you can see that mostly the uh, west coast of India you can see the central part of it during day two, day three and day four and the east coast of India uh, will be uh, the warning alert has been issued from red to orange color warning as you can also see in these maps where uh, red red color warning has been issued for isolated extremely heavy rainfall and orange color warning alert has been issued for very heavy to very heavy rainfall amount and these are been so monsoon activity will continue over west coast of India for day two day three day four 
for our central and east part of the India, including uh, our Bihar and Jharkhand. Uh, over if we see northeast of India, uh, our northeast of India rainfall activity will be continue, and the orange color warning alert has been issued for the day three, as you can see in this uh, uh, middle panel, where uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely over much of this and NMT for day three. So this warning will continue uh, for day four, uh, five also, where you can see that the, when the system is moving uh, west northwestward. Uh, along that you can see that orange color heavy rainfall amount uh, over the central and uh, adjoining part of the northwest of India where orange color warning alert has been issued. Uh, so there uh, the rainfall amount will be um, heavy to very heavy warning in heavy to very heavy rainfall warning alert has been issued for those regions. The other adjoining areas you can see that isolated heavy rainfall occur which has been marked in yellow and northeast of India the warning will continue for day 5. Now day 6 and day 7 you can see that isolated heavy rainfall warning alert with lightning and thunderstorm activity has been issued for day 6 and day 5 as been is been marked here. Uh, Central East India as well as some parts of the western Himalayan region including Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh as well as Jammu and Kashmir day 6 and day 7 warning alert has been issued. Day 6 you can see the west coast of India where isolated uh, heavy rainfall can occur are also been shown in this figure. Now let us say uh, if you want to talk about uh, 5 days fisherman warning graphics you can see that uh, complete uh, Bay of Bengal has been uh, issued uh, along the coast of India as well as central and uh, south part of the India from day 1 to day 5 Bay of Bengal fishermen are advised not to venture because there will be likely of increase in the wind speed and uh, these uh, marked polygon are the areas where fish fishermen should not go and due to the active monsoon condition you can see that Arabian Sea many parts of central and south and uh, north Arabian Sea we have uh, issued the fishermen warning graphics uh, uh, and along the coast you can see our Arabian Sea where the increase in the one wind warning as alert has also been issued in this graphics. So these are the uh, total forecasts you can actually get our updated uh, information and detailed information about these uh, warning from our press release which you can download from our IMD Mosom website. You can also get the updated information from us uh, and you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook uh, to get the updated information about the system and its update. That's all for today. Namaskar. Danyal.